Yeah, hey, thank you. And it's awesome to be here today. And my name is Katja Metsola and from Futurist or <laughs> whatever, how to say that. And uh, I'm a head of sales in data science. And my topic is today uh, to preaching business and AI. So my topic is quite sea uh, uh, level uh, and business uh, kind of uh, uh, today. But, but what I'm trying to say today, and this is very important a slide because uh, as, as we all know that there is a uh, different kind of layering in artificial in business, which means that, that we understand that there is the data and algorithms and AI capabilities. And mostly uh, data scientists work there. They are doing, they are doing different kind of uh, application like chatbots or uh, intelligent church or recommend systems. And of course, there is that C level. And now I'm asking how many of you are working in C level or are decision maker today in here? Few, yeah, good. And that's why why I'm asking this because C level agenda th mostly there is that in what uh, business are we in? Uh, what kind of our organizations, <coughs> culture, DNA? and so on. And, and I've been talking quite often with uh, data scientists and corporate leaders and also designers. And I've seen that there is uh, quite a gap between these layers, and which means that the data scientist doesn't understand what is the uh, C-level agenda and what is happening there what kind of decision is happening and making there. And also, the other hand, uh, C-level persons, uh, they doesn't understand so much about data, algorithms, and so on. And designers mostly work in product and process services. But what, this is very important because this is what is happening quite often today. So we understand that in envisioned impact is much more wider than realized impact. And there is some kind of gap, gap between that. And I'm, I'm telling you a little bit more about what is behind those uh, business agenda. Because this gap, uh, there is that gap because of um, uh, in, uh, envisioned, AI vision isn't connect to business agenda. And my next slide, I will open about more about business agenda. Because uh, I really love this slide, because there is three different kind of aspects, and all of those need to be balanced. And I would say that uh, when corporate leaders, they are thinking about how to set in the agenda, and how they are thinking about the ambition level, uh, that there's quite quite huge questions that uh, how relevant uh, organization is in two to three years, maybe five to f uh, seven years time period, how to renewal itself, and also how to be uh, vitality or a potential in the future. And then there is that uh, second corner, uh, which, which tell about that how digital inside and lateral thinking for innovation, how we could start to think much more wider than today. How, what is the next wave, what is coming? And uh, do, do we have all those persons uh, working in, in, uh, in our organizations? And then there is that cultural governance and structure to unleash AI and innovation, which means that, that, that for example, Futurize, I, I will tell you a few examples. Uh, most of you know that, that we are a cultural organization, our, our, our culture is based on trust and people. But now we are doing some kind of transformation to data-driven organization, which means that, that we need to start to think about totally new way. Of course, there is that, that we are also in the same situation of many of you, that we, start, we are starting to collect data from our internal processes. And I would say it's, it's quite hard. <laughs> And, and that so on. So all these, uh, all these balance needs to be, uh, all these aspects need to be balanced. 
Okay. And here is the few example of when we are trans, uh, we are we are going to from business agenda to uh, industrial digitalization and AI because there is a quite different kind of aspects. Uh, and also we know that uh, example cost efficiency, which means that intelligent maintenance. If you are doing better uh, customer service or chatbot. And then there is that product differentiation that we are trying to create a totally new way of uh, do much more quality or intelligent product. But then those two of these two of is only only that that we are improving our uh, existing business. We are not doing anything new. And then there's that holistic digital transformation. And we are also help, helping example FIRA in construction business that they could do and create totally new way of do constructions. And we are doing platform with them. And then we are going to a little bit deeper and we are talking about ambition level and how to play with these, these five uh, level. So, the first there is that uh, market, interact, and transact. So those levels are that, that you are uh, improving your existing business. And level from four to five is that, that you are totally uh, do new business by using AI. And, and I, could, I would say a few examples, like platform business, here five level, we are helping FIRA. And Cultural transformation and technical transformation, we are helping quite many of uh, manufacturing organizations, but also Barona in, uh, in requirement business. And here, here is also that predictive maintenance with uh, manufacturing. And then example, identify important topics like bad project in we are doing in manufacturing. And that's what I'm, why I'm saying that, that mostly uh, what business are we in, if you re uh, redefining it. Good example, this is a very old example, like John Deere, how they could turn from product business to system of system business. And now they actually ad are advising uh, agriculture business, how to uh, farmer need to do their own business. So they have all this information. And my last slide, I will tell how to uh, bridging the gap where is that envisioned uh, impact and then realized impact. The first is that data. We all know that, that uh, we need to start to collect those data and sometimes it's hard, but it should start today. And also we know that, that there is existing data, but, but we can't use them because there's no any kind of the interfaces to use those data. Then there is that AI product and tech maturity. And we also see that, that those uh, technologies are, are quite narrowed. And also in Futurize, we have a, a, a ITO AI. We, we try to uh, bridge in the gap in also that field. And then there is that AI business knowledge. As uh, Patrick mentioned, that, that there is that FKI and reactor school. And also we have, a, we have a, our own um, data science and machine learning academy. So, and it's for three different kind of level, for C level and for designers and people who is working for digital business. And then also to tech persons who are uh, able to do some software developing. And that's what I'm saying, that, that it's, it's possible to bridging the gap. And that's what I'm trying to say today here with you. And my time is out. So thank you.